Good morning. For today's video, our topic is subtracting the similar fraction without regrouping. But before that, let us check first our activity in my previous video. Find the sum of 4 and 2 thirds plus 7 and 1 six. The answer is 11 and 5 six. Number 2. Find the sum of 1 and 1 seven plus 8 and 1 third. The answer, 9 and 10 twenty-ones. Number 3. Find the sum of 2 and 2 ninths plus 9 and 3 eighteenths. And the answer is 11 and 7 eighteenths. Now, what is the similar fraction? The similar fraction is a fraction with different denominator. For example, 2 and 5, 1 fourth and 3 sevenths. Again, so we have 2 fifths. 1 fourth and 3 sevenths. They are the similar fraction because their denominators are not the same. What are the steps in subtracting the similar fraction? Step number 1. Subtract the whole number if the given fraction is mixed. Number two, determine the least common denominator or LCD. Number three, divide the LCD with the previous denominator. Number four, multiply the quotient to the numerator to get the new numerator. Number five, subtract the numerators. And number six, express your answer to its lowest term if possible. Let's have example number one. Determine the least common denominator or LCD of 3 eighths minus 1 six. In this case, the denominator of the given fraction is 8 and 6. So we need to get the, uh, the prime factors of 8 and 6. For 8, the prime factor is 2 times 2 times 2. While in 6, the prime factor is 2 times 3. So we need to cancel their greatest common factor. And the greatest common factor is 2. So bring down the numbers. So 2, which is in red, is the greatest common factor times 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2, 4. Times 2, 8. Times 3, the LCD or the least common denominator is 24. Step number 3 and step number 4. Divide the LCD with the previous denominator and multiply the quotient to the numerator to get the new numerator. So the LCD is 
24. So 24 divided by 8, the answer is 3. 3 times 3, the answer is 9. It means that 3 eighths is the equivalent fraction of 9 24 Next, 24 divided by 6, the answer is 4. 4 times 1, and the answer is 4. So it means that the equivalent fraction of 1 6 is 4 24. So in this case, they are now similar fraction. 9 24 minus 4 24. Step number 5. Subtract the numerators. 9 24 minus 4 24. The numerator is 9 and 4. So 9 minus 4, the answer is 5. And then copy the denominator 24. So we have 5 24. Since 24 is not a multiple of 5, so our answer is now in its lowest term. So the final answer for this problem is 5 24. Question? Let's proceed with example number 2. In this case, we need to subtract the whole number because the given fraction is a mix. 6 and 2 ninths minus 4 and 1 eighteenths. Our whole number is 6 and 4. So 6 minus 4, the answer is 2. Step number 2. Because the given fraction is the similar fraction, so we need to determine the least common denominator or the LCD. In this case, the denominators are 9 and 18. So what are the prime factors of 9? So we have 3 times 3. How about 18? We have 3 times 3 times 2. So we need to cancel the greatest common factor. And that is 3 times 3 9. So the greatest common factor for 9 and 18 is 9. So let's bring down the numbers. So we have 3 times 3 times 2. The numbers that is in red color signifies the greatest common factor of 9 and 18. So 3 times 3 is 9 times 2 it is 18. So the LCD is 18. Step number 3 and step number 4. Divide the LCD with the previous denominator and multiply the quotient to the numerator to get the new numerator. So in this case, our LCD is 18. So 18 divided by 9 the answer is 2 2 times 2 the answer is 4 18 divided by 18 the answer is 1 1 times 1 so the answer is 1. The equivalent fraction of 2 ninths is 4 eighteenths. 
the equivalent fraction of 118 is still 118. In this case, they are now similar fraction. So we can now subtract the numerator. 4 eighteenths minus 1 eighteenths. In this case, the numerator is 4 and 1. So 4 minus 1, the answer is 3. Copy the denominator 18. So we have 3 eighteenths. Number 6, express your answer to its lowest term, if possible. So what's the prime factor of 3? So we have 3. How about 18? So the prime factor of 18 is 3 times 3 times 2. So let's cancel the greatest common factor or the GCF. And the GCF of 3 and 18 is 3. Since there is no number in the numerator's place, so we will put 1 on it. And on the denominator's place, we have 3 and 2. So we are going to multiply 3 and 2. So 3 times 2 will give us 6. So the final answer is 1, 6. Now, we need to add the answer that we get from step number 1 and step number 6. So we have 2 plus 1, 6. The answer is 2 and 1, 6. Here. Now, let's play. Hi, my name is Mateo. Come, let's play with me. Find the difference. Number one, seven and two-thirds minus four and one-six. Again, seven and two-thirds minus four and one six. Number two, four fourteenths minus one seven. Again, four fourteenths minus one seven. Last number, nine and seven fifteenths minus two and five. 30 yet 9 and 7 fifteenths minus 2 and 5 30 yet always remember the similar fraction is a fraction with different denominator again the similar fraction is a fraction with different denominator. So what are the steps in subtracting the similar fraction? Step number one, subtract the whole number if the given fraction is mixed. Number two, determine the least common denominator or LCD. Step number three, divide the LCD with the previous denominator. 4. Multiply the quotient to the numerator to get the new numerator. 5. Subtract the numerators. And 6. Express your answer to its lowest term if possible. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.